Is it true that grocery stores use pesticides to miss produce? American grocery stores miss their produce with water to make it appear fresher, even though it actually accelerates wilting and spoilage. Since the water lines can be prone to bacterial growth, stores use pesticides like Produce Max. The pesticide is approved for conventional and organic produce to kill E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. As I spoke about last year, Produce Max contains the active ingredient hypochlorous acid, which forms free available chlorine and is also used in tap water. Produce Max is diluted in water and used in misters or sink on whole and cut produce to form 30 to 60 parts per million of free available chlorine. It's unclear what exact residues would remain on the produce as it is continually sprayed and doesn't have to be washed off according to the EPA. It's reasonable to assume there would only be a portion of the 30 to 60 parts per million since that concentration is used across all of the produce. Washing produce at home with baking soda would remove any remaining residues. Our bodies produce small amounts of hypochlorous acid to heal wounds. There's really no research indicating what levels of hypochlorous acid ingestion could be slightly harmful to humans. The main takeaway is that grocery stores should stop missing produce altogether since it only accelerates spoilage and relies on the use of pesticides like Produce Max. You shouldn't get stressed out about this information since fresh produce is going to be greatly beneficial for your health and any minuscule residues of that Produce Max or other pesticides can be washed off and altogether don't appear to pose a noticeable risk. As always, if you want to find local food near you, you can use my free farm map and community garden map. And if you want to grow fresh produce at home, you can check out the 170 varieties of open pollinated and pesticide free heirloom seeds, wildflower seeds, and native grass seeds that I carry. You can find these resources on my website, myhealthforward.com.